They got some food, some drinks. They would be perfect. See you at your place. <laughs> Guys, trust me on this one. <coughs> hey, Palmer, how far is your house from here? Um, about 15 miles. Just go straight down the Atlanta Highway. Okay, cool. Check you later. Dude, how is everyone going to know which one's your house? <laughs> nah, don't worry, dude. I thought of everything. See, they got this big sign, and they put it at the side of the road. And I didn't think we could just call it my pad, right? Right. right. So I decided to call it something good. Cool. <laughs> like what? The ceiling! Whoa! That's totally amazing! Now everybody's gonna be dancing! Cause tonight we're gonna party like it's 
You don't mind me asking. Are you okay?
two people. <laughs> so I was wondering.
I really like you. What if I tell you else? I want to be with you forever! I want to be with you forever. I guess what I'm trying to say is, I love you! I guess what I'm trying to say is, I love you. Oh, Michael! Oh, Michael! Well, babe, I've got to go to training. Check you later. So 
that a yes? You must be kidding me. You remind me of the ocean. Why? Because I'm strong and unpredictable. No, because you make me sick. <laughs> uh, never gonna give you up, never gonna let you down, never gonna run around and desert you. Get out of here! So will you go to the prom with me? No, Billy! Read my lips. N-O, no! Well, when you change your mind, you know where to find me. So? So what? What's the story? What story? Come on, Sid, get the story of Billy. Yeah, what's the goss? There is no goss. I told him I wasn't interested. Billy wanted to go to the prom with you? And you turned him down? Sid, Dad, how can you did that? What's wrong with you? Billy's such a great guy. He's funny and he's cute. Yeah, and so are lots of other guys. Girls. Boys are like used cars. What is that? They're easy to get, unreliable, and cheap. Besides, do any of you know what Billy does after school? Yeah, he works at a roller skating rink. What's that cost you that thing? Well, that means that he makes three dollars an hour. And that's it. Yeah. And what is he supposed to buy me on three bucks an hour? Nothing. I go with someone I expect to be treated properly. Are you serious? Are you saying you don't believe because he's too poor? Well, my mother always said, marry for money and love will come later. <laughs> Isn't that like so wrong? Yeah. Girls, listen. Billy is really, really poor. He once told me that if he hadn't been born a boy, he would have had nothing to play with.
And <laughs> this will be so funny. We'll watch it turn up to the prom with no partner, and then we'll let her know the truth. Sounds like a great plan. Lionel, we hurry up with that damn letter.
keep going. Uh, I think my mom was closed. Yeah, I need to uh, go uh, walk the dog. Walk the dog. <laughs> Check you later. Hey guys. Um, so I heard about your fight with Michael. Yeah, it's over between us. I'm sorry. I really am. No, you know what? It's okay. He was such a jerk, and I can't believe it took me so long to see it. Yeah. And you were right, his ears are pretty big. <laughs> yeah, dumb <no, no. laughs> You know the worst thing? I don't know if I have a problem with now. If you weren't taken, I'd go with you. But I'm not taken. You're not? I heard that several girls asked you yesterday. <laughs> Stud. Yeah. Well, I said no. Well, I didn't want to go with anyone, if it couldn't be you. Well... Tiffany, do you want to be my date to the prom? Sure, Corey, I'd love to. <laughs> Hi. How have you been? I've been okay, I guess. What about you? Fine. What kind of a tough year, huh? Yeah, you can say that again. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it has been a tough year. Look, Look you first, first okay? Oh. Well, I just wanted to say that I'm sorry for everything. Thank you. And I was wondering whether we could start all over it. I don't know. Well, I don't want to rush for anything. We can just see how things go. Sure, that'd be great. So, are you going to prom tomorrow? Yeah. I thought I'd go for a while. Well, I guess I'll see you there then. Yeah, that'd be great. See, see you there. there. May 23rd, my prom night. It was the end of our school lives. We've been waiting for this moment our entire lives. And we were sure we would make it a night we would never forget.
all of us since we graduated? Laura and Debbie are now millionaires. Several years after graduation, they set up their own dating agency, which has now become the biggest in the United States. Fergal and Eileen went on to get married two years later. Most of Fergal's crazy theories came true. He is now a millionaire after having pioneered what we know as the World Wide Web. <laughs> Billy and Cindy were never going to last. She is now a Democratic politician. Billy went on to own a chain of skating rinks all over the city with Lionel and Huey. When skating went out of fashion, he bulldozed them all and replaced them with car cars. Mel and Kim married two identical twins from England, the Matt and Luke brothers. They both have two sets of triplets and are now in the Guinness Book of World Records. <laughs> Michael Feldman tried out for a pro football league, but a nasty groin injury forced him into early retirement. He has had two wives and has four kids, and is now a Baptist minister in New Orleans. <laughs> Mr. Cocker and Miss Brannigan finally let bygones be bygones and met down the aisle. They both still teach at William Morton High. In fact, Mr. Cocker is now principal. The guys and I, well, we still see each other. We try to play golf once a fortnight. A couple of years back, Kirk married a girl in Mount Disneyland. As on your hand, is destined to be a bachelor to your grave. As for Tiffany and me, well, we didn't get married as I, as I always hoped. In fact, I haven't seen her in over two years. I was at her wedding in Chicago a couple of years ago. She has two beautiful daughters, both spinning in each other. As for me, well, I'm happy and healthy. But I'm still not married, so I'm getting a fashion designer, so we'll see how it goes. It's funny, you know, life moves pretty fast and takes us all along with it. Sure, did things didn't pan out the way I hoped it would at 17, but you know what? That's okay. I still love looking back at my high school days. And while they're all distant memories now, thankfully, these memories will be in here forever. Have fun, guys.